This video shows a few examples of the amazing work to be seen in the SIGGRAPH ASIA 2011 Technical Papers program. Several papers start with images or video. Synthetic objects like this knot can be plausibly inserted into scenes captured only by an existing photo. The method supports complex material and lighting interactions between objects in the scene. A probabilistic approach uses input video like the tree shown on the left to create plausible dynamic 3D models like the one shown on the right. This paper shows how the face of the person on the left can be placed over the video on the right to produce a seamless composite despite differences in timing and visual appearance. A trained algorithm finds frames in video that work well as still portraits. The paper also evaluates the algorithm showing that it works better than more naive methods. This new stereo display tracks a single viewer or even a group of up to six people simultaneously viewing a scene in 3D. As for simulation, a new technique for handling friction efficiently and robustly supports contacts among thousands of fibers to enhance the realism of hair. A new algorithm for interaction of deforming surfaces supports draping this shirt over the ogre while robustly removing intersections between the surfaces. This paper shows that controllers using hard contacts struggle with perturbations in noisy environments, whereas a character using soft contacts produces more realistic motion. A number of papers deal with drawings and paintings, like this work that starts from input line art to find a plausible drawing order. Here, a new method for rendering 3D paintings by compositing brush strokes embedded in space maintains both temporal and spatial coherence. A suite of interactive tools allows architects to build a lightweight billboard representation of a 3D environment together with sketchy conceptual designs. A new interpolation method based on advection rather than blending migrates these stipple patterns through the evolution of man and can be applied to many other forms of data like environment maps or BRDFs. A lightweight sketching system enables interactive illustration of complex fluid systems using a 2.5D canvas, a hydraulic graph, and a new hybrid fluid model. Some papers offer improved lighting or shading. For example, this new approach to pre-computed lighting uses a low-dimensional subspace simulation to support high performance, low memory usage, and fast authoring. An interactive material modeling system makes it easy to specify spatially varying reflectance properties using a single texture and a few simple gestures. A genetic programming framework modifies a complex shader to find a simplified version that produces similar renderings but with much better performance. This new method gives order of magnitude performance gains over state-of-the-art micropolygon ray tracing algorithms. Finally, Progressive Photon Beams, a new algorithm for rendering complex lighting in participating media, allows us to relive the 1970s with remarkable fidelity. Come to the Papers program to see these and many more amazing results.